All right, I'm down here in Aston, Delaware County today with Mike, Captain 44. And uh, I was snooping around looking at this. This is their brand new 2022. Notice the lighting configuration, FireTech bar, Mars lights, Roto Ray, recessed Q with a intake on the front and then an offset um, inch and three quarter jump line off the front bumper. This is an enforcer. We'll talk about this truck first, but there's the ROXT sister to this, which is pretty much what we're ordering, but don't get excited. We'll look at that later. So here's the Enforcer, third windshield wiper, as everybody always likes to point out. This truck is not in service yet. Um, this hall has the Rhino lined uh, body color uh, coating. The interior of this truck is beautiful. The cab configuration is nice. The passenger compartment is cool too. The seats is the same configuration we were looking at with the two in the center and the two on the outer. That way your knees aren't bashing into one another. It looks like plenty of leg room in here. The Arrow XT cab on the older model is a little bit more cramped, but this one here, flat roof like we ordered. This does not have the pass through. So your PW is in there, but no pass through in the cab. I like the black uh, pump panel. And I also like how they covered up the uh, diamond plate here. And then rubber fenders instead of diamond plate fenders, a little bit easier to repair as we've been going through lately. This truck does not have the um, booster reel that we were looking at, but this is the one, if you look here, this does not have your uh, high rise packs on top, but this is what the Matt was saying to us. We could move these ladders up and still get them there. This does not have that eight inch. Uh, Mike and I were talking about that with the Harmonville truck. That that is, we already know that that's lower, but we, that also kind of takes us out of that lane this is one. Around thirty-eight inches, and our truck at forty-four is going to be around thirty-four to thirty-five inches. Yeah, so so, it's going to be significantly lower. So here is the tailboard. We've discussed this at the firehouse about having a uh, a larger tailboard. We just went through this. We tried to rebuckle these, and I noted the questions for apparatus were. How do we retain that? Watch this. Watch how simple this is to remove that netting. So if your guy was gonna call and pull the line and lay out the supply line, just simply go like this and it drops down. Dude, I love that. That's as simple as it gets. It's two seatbelt buckles, one right there, one right there in the center, and one in each corner. And the way that that buckle attachment is made is this actually lifts, see how this pulls down? That's what releases the buckle right there. And then the uh, hose bed covers up there, which that's going to be removable. We can take that out regardless. So this is TAC 17, yes. Aston, Delaware County. Two, pre-connected inch and three-quarter, 200, 400, 1,200 with plenty of room to get to 15, 300 on a dead lay for the three, and another 200, two? 150. 150 on this one. Front bumper uh, jump line is 150 is all also. 250 pre-connect, cross lay, and a inch and three quarter cross lay. What were the footages? Um, the inch and three quarter cross lay is 200 foot and the two and a half is 200 foot. Two, all right. So and there is no booster reel on this. No booster reel, like I said there. Uh, $12,000 different option if you wanted to get one on. Wow, have 12 grand for the booster reel, gentlemen. This is the bin in the back with the doors. This truck is pretty much the identical truck we're ordering, except for it's 808 gallons, not 1,000. It, it does have the high side compartments like the rescue doors. He said, who was that? First do fab. First do fab did their, their dividers, and they put these in, in the cab. to store the, um, and they did the cab yep, layout as well. The map holders, uh, everything in there. So they did this here as well to, uh, to get rid of these the, the high rise packs. So steel wheels, no aluminum, water's pump, 1500 gallons. This does look like a 48 inch pump panel. And there's your cross lay up there. So like GPM uh, 750 yeah. or 808. 808, 1500 GPM. And then again, so with these, this, this is another option we did. Everything that you see here is actually reinforced. So this is reinforced up top to be a step, this as well. Okay. So this all has the liner and the protective coating all right around. So you can step on this and you can step on that to make access other than that real thin piece that you usually just see there. Sure. Sharp truck, kind of the same exact striping. Set fires will be all red, no more black or white at the top. 
And um, I'm going to cut this video off here, but we'll go next door and look at the other video of the Arrow XT.